So we're going to make some kitchery this evening. Um, it's something we do every month for our kitchery kirtan. We love to feed our friends and uh, community when they come over, so it's really an uh, integral part of Kitchri Kirtan. We invite them into Cambridge to, uh, to enjoy this meal and sing their hearts out. And it starts with the Kitchri. So it's a warming, creamy coconut milk and turmeric. and It's a very uh, cleansing, gratifying meal uh, from India. In fact, some people call it the chicken soup of India. So. So in our recipe for the kitchri, we use mung beans, whole mung beans. When they soak overnight, they plump up and get more life force energy. We try to buy organic, natural. So you really want to rinse them down several times. For our recipe, we're cooking for sometimes up to 50 people. We'll make two pots, nourishing the people. <laughs> This is like a five quart pot. You want to fill it up about three quarters of the way. And the next step is to take it over to the stove and put it on to boil. We have a lot of other prepping to do. So we use uh, a lot of ginger root. It's really great for digestion. It brings a uh, warming spice to the kitchen. You just take the back of your spoon and you can scrape along the edge. Then you mince it, and this is my friend Meg helping. We got this from the Neem Karoli Baba Ashram in Taos, New Mexico. One of the spices we use is coriander, and coriander is actually um, the seed of cilantro. It's high in magnesium and potassium. It has a bit of a sweet flavor as well. So we use whole cumin seeds high in iron and potassium. Really nourishing spices, warming, delicious. <laughs> so one of the spices is gram marsala. Um, gram means to warm the body, and marsala is the blend of different um, spices all coming together. It smells amazing. <laughs> so turmeric powder, um, we often find Turmeric root, it's similar to the ginger. We peel it and it, it's very colorful. It's also really healing for um, the body. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's good for your memory. It's good for the immune system. There are claims that it's good for preventing Alzheimer's disease. So we use black mustard seed, high in vitamin B, niacin, and antioxidants. Cilantro, um, which is very aromatic and smells delicious. We usually use as a garnish to put on top of the kitchri. And it's known to remove heavy metals from the body. It has a lot of vitamins and nutrients. We also add peas at the end, uh, almost when it's finished, and they're, they're a fresh, vibrant green color to add to the top. They're high in protein. We use uh, organic. Uh, coconut milk and it's our secret ingredient but now you know. Um, it makes the kitri really creamy and rich, has the good fats that are really good for our body, really nourishing. Uh, so one of the vegetables we add to the kitri, it really thickens it, is the cauliflower and it's such a beautiful vegetable. We like to break it apart by hand so we break it up into tiny little florets. They're so cute. As the beans boil down we want to skim the foam off the top. Basmati rice is a long grain rice from India. Uh, it's really, it has a nutty flavor and we use about a cup and a half, two cups. We add the ginger and let it cook down and flavor the beans, flavor the rice. Sometimes we'll add other vegetables. So the next thing we do is add the cauliflower. We like to cook it down, but we want it to be fresh and um, still have some of its character when we're eating it. It really thickens the kitchri, adds a really nice flavor. So this is the process called uh, tadka. Some people use ghee, 
We tend to use coconut oil for the vegans in our community, uh, organic coconut oil again, so good for you, the good fats in the body. I would say two tablespoons. Uh, to really bring the flavor alive in the mustard seeds is to get them to pop. But you need to watch it because you don't want them to burn. You want it to be hot enough to pop, but quick enough to not burn. And this is what really brings the kitchery to life. If you listen carefully and hear the popping, at this point you want to add the cumin seeds because they want to pop as well. And when the, they pop, it breaks open the flavor. And you can start to smell, the whole kitchen fills with the aromatic smell of the spices cooking down. And then we add the coriander, the ground marsala goes next. And of course, the turmeric, which brings the beautiful bright yellow color. This process is called tadka. You're cooking the spices, you're literally cooking the spices together. So you let them cook for about a minute, let them cook down, they start to turn a little brown, turn the heat off. The next step is to put the spices right into the boiling pot. It's hot, you have to be careful. What I like to do is add some of the actual beans to make sure you get all, you don't want to waste any of that goodness. And now this is where you start to see the color really come forward, a beautiful bright yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and let this cook down for another maybe 10 minutes. Um, but you just wanna watch it at this point because the bottom of the pot can start to stick. We're also gonna go ahead and add the coconut milk, nice and thick, and it makes the kitchery really creamy and delicious. You can't forget salt. Salt brings all the flavor out. So use about a tablespoon and I kind of eyeball it. It's better to have a little bit less salt than too much. And then the last part is the peas. We use frozen peas and I like to add them last um, so that they really stay fresh and green. Almost uh, just warmed. Such a beautiful color. So here we are, we're gonna serve up the kitchery. And then we have uh, toasted sesame seeds, sprinkle a little bit on the top as a garnish as well. We put the, the cilantro. And now for the best part, the tasting. This is my favorite part. Mmm, yum. Mmm. So good. Creamy, warm, nourishing. Yeah, it's very gratifying. And it's got a wonderful mix of uh, flavors. Um, warms the belly and uh, helps open the heart for the chanting practice. So kitchery is uh, Ayurvedic. Some people will do a cleanse, a kitchery cleanse for up to 21 days. Um, they'll just eat breakfast, lunch and dinner kitchery with uh, lots of water and fresh ginger teas and the spices are, are very cleansing and nourishing for the body. So to your health. To your health. Loka. Samasta, Samasta. Sukino, Sukino. Bhavan.